Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome to PyTorch tutorial series. Today we shall see another example of natural language processing using recurrent neural network. We shall use LSTM model that is short for long short term memory. So let's jump in. It's a very big program when you run this notebook you will see that it will take some time to run so i wouldn't be able to show the runtime but uh, it's pre run so i can explain the code so to run this problem of natural language processing we are importing pandas numpy torch torch.nm torch.nm.functional and torch.optim. One thing you have to remember is that to do some natural language processing programming, you need to import NLTK. NLTK is a very good library. It has all the modules and preloaded guidance for various languages, especially English. So let's jump into it. We import NLTK and from NLTK we shall download TreeBank and Universal Tag Set. TreeBank is basically a package that NLTK provides that has all the lemma of English language as in what should be the plural plural of one singular noun, what should be the singular of a plural noun, the past tense, the present tense, etc. So basically it's a guideline for English. And universal tag set is our data set that provides us the sentences that have already been tagged. The problem we are trying to solve today is called parts of speech tagging, as in we want to build a model that can tell which word belongs to which parts of speech. And by training the model on a set of corpus or set of example sentences and words, our model will learn. And after that, we can show our model some unknown words and it can predict those words properly. So in this case, we are not learning character by character like we did in the last video where we built a model that can identify what nationality a person belong, belongs to just by looking at the surname. Today we are doing word by word so you can try making it character by character learning. So we are just checking how many sentences we have. We have 3914 tag, tagged sentences and our tag sentences look like this Mr. So if I read the first sentence it looks like Mr. Winken is chairman of Ellsworth NV the Dutch publishing group so it looks like that And uh, you can see it has already been pre-tagged before. So this is our training set. To help us with our, the training program, we are building some small model, some small modules or functions. First function is word to index. So it says it converts all the words into tensors. This converts characters into tensors. This converts tags or this parts of speech into tensors. This converts the whole sentence into tensors. And we are building a dictionary that is called word to index, tag to index, cat to index. For this section, we are creating our dictionary of word to index, tag to index, and cat to index. And after we build that, it looks like this. So this is the 
we have taken the words for each sentence in this word to index dictionary. Here the first word is pair and it's given the the number zero, Winken is one, comma is two and so on. So once we do that, we check how many unique word tags or characters we have in the dictionary as in word to index, tag to index and cat to index and the number of word tag and character respectively will be the vocabulary size for the word tags and characters respectively. So once we run it, we can see we have 12,408 unique words and for those 12,000 words, we have 12 unique tags as in noun, pronoun, adjective, determinant, etc. And all these sentences are made up of 79 unique characters in total. Here we are converting each word into a set of embeddings. Embeddings are basically matrices or in this case tensors so that our deep learning model can read those and train on the words and characters. So the word embedding dimension is 1024, cat embedding is 128, word hidden dimension is 1024, and cat dimension, hidden dimension is 1024. And we are running 70 epochs for our model. Now comes the main part of the program that is the dual LSTM tagger that generates the tags or parts of speech for our words. Inside the dual LSTM tagger, we have the constructor function inside init and the word embedding dimension has been uh, provided here as in word embedding, care embedding, care, care LSTM, and like I said, we are building this LSTM model and hidden to tag is basically the final output that gives us the final tag from the hidden layer. As I have mentioned in the previous videos that one hidden layer is passed on to the next hidden layer in LSTM model and the final output comes from one, the last hidden layer and its, its tag has is be, been predicted by the probability and to do that, we are using a linear layer because we don't need anything else. And the dimension is word hidden dimension. That is the dimension of the hidden layer in the previous LSTM module and the tag of the vocabulary size. Because we have 12 unique tags and we are basically implementing a softmax function that will provide us probabilities for each tag and we will take the tag with the highest probability. In the forward pass, we are generating the embeddings of the sentences and we are training the model just like we did in the forward pass in the previous uh, examples. So for each word, we are checking the character embeddings and we are putting it through the CAR LSTM this this layer which gives us the output for that LSTM mo module and the uh, output for the next and so on we are stacking up the all the hidden layers and finally we are taking the output from the last hidden layer and obviously the output will be found from the last hidden layer in the forward pass and in the back propagation we shall only get the derivatives of each LSTM layer and finally like I said the tag score are being found by the softmax function or the logs of softmax function in this case. In the next video we shall run our model and see what is the output. Thanks for